Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at real time materialized views. Materialized views allow us to improve the performance of complex queries by storing the rows produced by the view query in their own table segment. That way, multiple queries can access the same pre computed results. This is a great way to save time on complex analytics and aggregations used by dashboards and reports, as the work can be done once and then used by multiple people running the same queries. If the materialized view is up to date and it's quicker to do so, Oracle can rewrite a query so that it gets the data from the materialized view even though the query is referencing the base tables. Any changes to the base tables mark the materialized view as stale and the automatic rewrites won't happen by default. We can speed up materialized view refreshes by using materialized view logs to track changes to the base tables, so only changes are applied during a refresh, but for volatile data, this can still leave the materialized view stale for much of the time. In the past, our only options were to trust the stale data or revert to querying the base tables directly when the materialized view was stale. From Oracle 12 to onward, there is another option. Your session can use a combination of the stale materialized view data and the contents of the materialized view logs to give you an up to date view of the data. This is called a real time materialized view. We create a test table to act as a base table in this example. We then populate it with 100,000 rows of random data, do a commit, and then gather statistics for the table. We create a materialized view log to track any DML changes on the base table. Now we can create the materialized view itself. It does some aggregations as part of a group by statement. The query computation clause tells Oracle this is a real time materialized view. This query is similar to the one used by the materialized view. It's accessing the base table and it's limiting the data to just order ID 1. Importantly, we can see it returns a row count of 98. Checking the execution plan, we can see Oracle's done a rewrite of the query to use the materialized view. Let's insert a record into the base table for order line 1. Checking the materialized view, we can see Oracle's noticed it's now stale. But remember, this is a real time materialized view. Repeating the query against the base table, we see a row count of 99, which is the up to date value. So, what happened here? Checking the execution plan, we can see a lot has happened. Oracle has still used the real time materialized view but then it's also used the materialized view logs to wind forward the data for our session. Querying the materialized view directly, we can see the data is still stale. Remember, the view of the data was only wound forward in our session, the materialized view wasn't refreshed. Checking the execution plan, we can see this was just a regular scan of the materialized view segment. We can still get up to date information from queries directly against the materialized view using the fresh MV hint. Not surprisingly, this results in that big execution plan again. Thanks for watching. As always, you'll find links to articles about this functionality in the description below.